I would now like to reaffirm MOE's commitment to an important group, students with special educational needs. In recent years, we have developed the landscape significantly. As Madam Rahayu Mazam has suggested, we need to grow our students with special education needs as well as typically developing students in the soft skills that will last them into adult life. Learned members such as Ms. Denise Pua and Mr. Sean Huang have shared how transitioning between stages can be daunting for students, especially those with special education needs. For instance, for preschool children, moving to P1 can be a major transition as Mr. Patrick Tay had mentioned. To help them along, MOE's Nurturing Early Learners Framework, which is used by MOE kindergartens, MKs and other preschools, focuses on nurturing children's curiosity, socio-emotional and motor skills, and love for learning, alongside basic literacy and numeracy goals. But we recognise that some students with SEN need further support. MOE is therefore introducing a new targeted intervention called TRANSIT or, in trans or Transition Support for Integration to all primary schools by 2026 for P1 students with social and behavioural needs. These students will receive support from allied educators, learning and behavioural support and teachers to develop foundational self-management skills in small groups and in their classrooms during their P1 year. By the end of P1, students should be able to learn independently in class with occasional help. One of the first pilot schools is Elias Park Primary. One student, let's call him M, had a difficult time adjusting when he entered P1. He would lie on the floor and shout in class. Through transit, our teachers and allied educators, LBS, taught M self-management skills, such as working within his personal space and communication. He was prompted to apply these skills throughout the school day, and his parents reinforced them at home. Today, M has a positive learning attitude, and he interacts well with his peers. By end 2021, MOE would have piloted transit in about 40 schools, or one out of five primary schools. As the pilot outcomes have been promising, MOE will roll out transit in all primary schools by 2026, benefiting around 5 to 10 P1 students in each school per year.